Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Holly and this is Hollywood Hooked. Um, yes, it's been a while once again. That is my MO, but that's what it is. So, I have many finished objects and a couple works in progresses to show you today in one acquisition. Quite a bit. It's not too much. It'll be a, a little video, I think. So, we're just we're jumping into it. First item, finished object, is the Boho Knights Doily by Ron Strong. It's an Aunt Lydia's classic crochet pattern, and this is in the number 10 thread. I'm not sure which is the front. I'm not sure what color. This is just like the natural color. So this was a free pattern. Um, when I finished this, it was kind of like, I had to block it a lot. Like I had to stretch it to get like a decent shape out of it. Um, now what am I going to do with this doily now? I have no idea, but it's made. I want to try making others something a little bit more intricate because I think, I mean, well, it's, it's a doily. It's nothing... I want a little bit of oomph to it. I, I need a little bit more design. So we're going to try another one again. But yes, this is my first finished object for the day. I never know where to put these when I'm done. So let's put it right there. Second finished object is the Busy Bee Top by Jean on, on the Hook Crochet. Now this one, last time I showed it to you, I finished that. And then I kept trying it on and it was a little snug, but I was like, oh, it'll, it'll work out. It'll, yeah, it didn't. It was a little bit too snug. Um, I should have just gone with like an extra inch of ease on each panel, but I went crazy and added 20 extra stitches for each panel. So now it's got like, a lot of ease it's a bit too much I had it on yesterday and as you wear it it kind of loosens up too and it's just too much it's not flattering nothing wrong with the pattern just wrong with uh, me getting figuring out what size I like my tops um, yeah let's see how much ease it's probably so I put, added that much on each panel so it's a lot I should have added just like that much so yeah it's it's a bit it's a bit large um, so this was my second time completing this pattern because the first time it was completely done and I ripped it all out and started over um, I want to try this again but I didn't want to rip it out again um, after working with this, I decided it's not really my favorite colorway. Yellow is not one of my favorite colors. I don't know why I went with this. I think just because she used this colorway on her pattern. Um, but yes. So I don't know which color I'll go with next. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's I'm trying to find the, the shoulder to it. Okay, so yes, that is that. Second finished object. Alright, so how long was I gone? Because I feel like I have a lot finished and I took a week off of crocheting. I don't know. Hmm. So, next finished object is where is it? The Rainbow Ripple Baby Blanket. The 12 point star. Um, I did this because Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches, she was, she made one. And I was like, oh, well, I, I want to use up some yarn. That looks like a simple enough uh, pattern for that. So I did. So this one, I used the Karen Jumbo yarn and the Colorway Rosewood. I used two skeins. Um, let's see. I don't know if I can like show you how big, I folded it in half, but yeah. It's pretty large um I mean this would be good for an adult just to have like on the couch a little cozy blanket um, and then I just did 
a border. I did a single crochet and then I, um, the second, it's two rows. The first row was the right way and then I flipped it. I turned the project and did it that way. That way my, they don't curl so bad, the corners. So I like this pattern, this yarn. I got to tell you about this yarn. I had to cut so many spots where there was spots in the yarn. Okay, the yarn is a four ply. There were many, many spots where there were one, sometimes two of the plies were snapped. Um, it was over 10 spots and there were over three knots in one of the skeins. That was all one skein. That skein was just a total mess. That um, it's pretty much put me off of this yarn. So once I go through the the Karen Jumbos, I probably will not be purchasing again. This is too much of a hassle. Um, how many? It looks like I have one, I have two in my cubby here, and then I know I have another skein in my um, scrap box. It's like a whole skein, but it's in like three or four different pieces. Um, so yes, well, I like the pattern. I, I'm, I'm pleased with the turnout. Um, I wish I would have done some color changes, but I didn't. Um, but the yarn I'm not happy with. So that's that. Um, let's see, next one is what I am wearing. This is the um, Summer Spring Top by Bago de Crochet. Um, and this is also in a Karen Jumbo. And this one is the Garden Grows colorway. Now this one I did, so I added a bottom to it, a bottom band, and it is done in a triple, tri triple crochet. So I just did a single crochet along the bottom and then I added a triple crochet and then I added another single crochet at the bottom of that. So, so I guess it's a three row band, three row band. Yes, so that's that. I like this colorway. I had no problems with the skin of yarn, but yes. I think I've used pretty much every colorway of the Karen Jumbo, so I'm, I'm good. I don't need to buy any more, uh, so yeah. Um, next project. So that, I have another finished object that is from a while back that I never showed you guys. I found it um, while I was cleaning, and um, yeah. This one I did, let's see, I have my notes by the way. Uh, let's see, this one is the Cosmos Cardigan by Tamara Kelly. And this is in the Karen Big Cakes. I do not remember what colorway. So here it is. And this was, so I have my sleeves rolled. Let me, I'll put this on. Um, so I, I think I didn't show you guys because I wasn't super pleased with it. Um, I kind of finished it and then I kind of wore it around the house because it was cold but the sleeves are rolled because when I made the sleeves when I did the cuff I um, obviously didn't size down on my hook so it the sleeve the cuff is huge so I still have my ends out I need to go back and pull the cuff and size down um, my size down quite a bit uh, but this pattern, so if you've seen it, oh, that's like a weird spot in the yarn where it, um, the dye didn't take. It's weird. Um, so this pattern, if you've done it, it's two sizes. You got like a straight size and a plus size. The plus size seems like in the measurements that it was going to be too big. And so I kind of married the two sizes together, kind of, yeah, to make it work. Obviously, I didn't do it correctly, and it doesn't really work because it's very, I don't know, it's ill-fitting. It's, it's large. Um, I might make it again. Um, yeah. I'll probably make this again. I know I have three skeins of two more colorways of the Karen Bay Cakes. So I might, this took almost three skeins. So I know I'm good in the yardage of yarn I have. 
yeah so I might try this again and then I might try the what is it the um, it's another cardigan everyone campfire cardigan um, yes but I don't know if I want to use this yarn actually because um, what Jan Carruthers read urban gypsy crochet she makes a lot of those or she has been making a few of them and I like the way she does her um, color changes all the colors that she uses I think I'd be more happier with something like that so that's that whips I have two whips um, first one let me get my basket is here in my basket um, let's see this is Let's go through the closet, my yarn closet right back there that doesn't really have yarn in it anymore. Um, and I found this book, uh, 63 Easy to Crochet Pattern Stitches Combined to Make an Heirloom Afghan. Um, so I was looking at this, I was like, hey, why not? So I picked my colors. Uh, what colors did I use? They're all in the Karen One Pound. I've got the color taupe, rose, and off whites. So. So I'm on pattern <laughs> square 21. This basket is not working right here. Um, it's pattern 21. I think this square right here has been my favorite square so far. Um, yes. Maybe I'll, no, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna commit to doing any kind of videos because we all know how I do on that. Um, but, so I'm on number 21, which is, uh, it's got like a 3D flower in the center. So right here, I don't know if you can really see that, um, but I am stuck on, what row? I think it's row five. No. I'm stuck on one of the rows, and it's because... Oh my yarn gets tangled. That's that's as far as I got. And then like I'm confused about what row is this? So I have one, two, three, so I'm on row four. I don't even know. I'm, just, I'm probably gonna just rip this and start all over again because maybe I messed up somewhere. I don't know. It's only three rows, so I'm good. Um, so I've been working on that. Um, I kind of stopped working on the, the Christmas blanket because I realized the, the link I put in there did not match the squares I have been working on. I have it right here. So I think in the, the pattern I linked, the center was a circle and then it kind of, the pattern grew from that. And I think I like that more than what, than I like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rip one of these out and see if that pattern takes the same amount of yarn as this. And then I'm gonna just switch to that because I don't wanna waste the yarn. Um, cause I know if I pull this um, and just leave it, I'm not gonna do anything with that yarn. I have a basket full of scraps that I haven't, I don't think I've really done anything with my scraps. So I need to be more mindful of that. So that's that. Let's see, last whip is another ripple blanket, but this time I am using the, um, what colors are these? The Karen One Pounds and Limeade, and then the Karen Jumbo and Green Meadow Ombre. Um, so here we go. So I'm doing three rows of the Ombre and four rows of the Limeade, and I'll just go until I run out of the first color. So, so yes, and then I'll have another blanket to add to my stash of blankets that don't get used. But I'm using the yarn up, and that's what matters. Is because I've had a lot of this yarn for quite a while. I need to get through it. Um, ew. There's something on that bag. Um, 
acquisitions. I only have one thing. It's more crochet thread, but in white. Um, I wanted, I want to make a curtain panel for my kitchen. I've talked about this before and I actually started to do, my idea was to do a large virus shawl and then kind of drape the ends over and have kind of like a balance, but the window is so wide that to be able to cover it, the center is going to go all the way down to the sink. So that's not going to work, but I have since found, um, what did she call it? I think it's a straight virus saw or a straight virus. Do I have my phone? I do have my phone. Okay. Um, let's see. Here we go. It is, I have it on, it's on Ravelry. It's a free pattern. It's loading. So, it is called Straight Virus by Angie Nelson. Um, yes. So, I'm gonna try that. I don't know when I'm gonna start that. Um, I will be redoing my kitchen, not like gutting it and redoing it. I think I'll just be painting the walls and then eventually painting the cabinets because um, the kitchen is yellow, not my favorite color. Uh, so once that happens, I need to start it soon. Yes, everything is just going through my head. Um, so yes, so this will become a curtain panel, a virus, a straight virus. And yes, it'll be pretty. And I'll have to, I guess I could just add tabs to the top when I'm finished. Just sew on some tabs so it'll hang from that. So yes. So that is all I have for you today. Um, yes. Hope all of you are having a great weekend. Um, yeah. Until next time. Bye guys.